Airfix always had um, a range of buildings and forts that uh, complemented the, uh, the HO scale vehicles and uh, soldiers. This one's the uh, what they call the gun emplacement, and it comes with a, a naval gun, a searchlight, trenches for the soldiers, a wireless hut, and a pillbox. On the older versions, there's a you can see there's a little pin in there. So it had a spring inside, and you could actually fire shells as well, which you probably lose on about the first day. I think it resembles something like the Merville batteries, which were um, the airborne soldiers landed by on just uh, on June the fifth. These uh, guns were a threat to uh, Allied shipping landing on D-Day. This one is uh, about to surrender because it's been approached by two Churchill tanks. One of them is the uh, crocodile, and that's a flamethrower tank. And most Germans faced with the, the Churchill crocodile flamethrower, they did choose to surrender. It's very, very much a feared weapon. They always came with a lot of set of plastic sandbags. The other, the other one is the uh, coastal defence fort. Again, this is uh, something very similar to uh, the Atlantic Wall batteries. This is quite a new one. I bought it in the recent Airfix D-Day set. So it comes with a vacuum-formed base and lots of vehicles, lots of soldiers. Always reminded me a bit of the Guns of Navarone film as well. So it's got a rangefinder and two sets of anti aircraft guns. As you can see, the more modern offerings doesn't have the uh, firing mechanism or the little spring inside. So there, there's a Sherman grab tank which is uh, coming up the beach and that had a, a flail which was used to destroy mines and clear a pathway onto the beach. Comes with the landing craft and the Sherman. Another FX D-Day vehicle is the uh, amphibious duck. Again, that would be used for landing supplies. So I've also added a couple of the Holly FX landing craft. Landing lots of Sherman tanks. The troops have gone ahead up the beach. The next building, not a fault or a building, is a bridge, the Bailey Bridge, and it was the Airfix pontoon set. Again, this could all be joined together. There's two spans here. I need a wider river, really. Again, another uh, great set. The one over here is just a single span. And I've just added in, some of you may have made the Matchbox Firefly. And it always came with a diorama base of um, a bridge up to about there. I've always wanted to join the two together to make the bridge back in one piece again. So, 
You see how our troops are advancing. There's uh, obviously going to be a German counterattack. Airfix have also released a range of resin buildings which complement these uh, vehicles and figures nicely. And the beauty of all these buildings is that you can make them into what you want them to be. This is the, uh, the Waterloo farmhouse. These are matchbox jet berthers. Matchbox Panther tank, which is a lot easier to build than the FX one, where the axles are molded on. Just going back to the river here, the other amazing American vehicle is the uh, Buffalo amphibious vehicle. So it's amphibious, you can take uh, troops and small vehicles across, across rivers, very well armed with a Polston 20 meter, 20 millimeter cannon in the British versions. Yeah, and this Airfix kit comes with a, with a Jeep as well. As well as the uh, plastic and resin buildings, so it's also uh, an airfield set which has another vacuum form base. You can use that for displaying your aircraft collection. Just put the Typhoon in there. One of the, again, an older airfix building is the uh, control tower, which complements your aircraft collection very nicely. Diecast RF vehicles around just to set the scene. That's the RF emergency set, fire, fire engine, and the ambulance. These are two more of the uh, more recent resin buildings that Airfix have brought out. Some set up artillery, 5.5 inch guns, and matador tractors. And over here, just behind the beach, is uh, 25 pounder guns about to go into action, supporting the river crossing. Hope you've enjoyed the battlefield tour. Thank you for watching, I do appreciate it. Thank you very much if you've subscribed as well. And hopefully it uh, brings back some memories and also gets you building a few models. And it's good fun. So there's the three. Gun emplacement, coastal fault and pontoon bridges.